and let's do file open. I'm going to create or grab an existing system that we are playing with right now. Now you can see we're fairly well zoomed in on this system. There's a button right up here. Obviously the tooltip doesn't show, but if I zoom out full, then it automatically scales to the size of my screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select short circuit, which is the uh, second button from the um, the database right here. When I click on that, what happens is my toolbar changes. No longer do you see the equipment palette. Now I see my short circuit um, or fault all the buses. I can look at remote voltages and currents. I can look at um, various text reports. There's about 25 different text report options that you see, um, see how we can uh, implement. It allows us to um, control the one-line data that we see and the arc flash hazard information that we um, um, use for controlling and creating the arc flash data. So we'll get to that in a little bit. If this little button is pressed, we're doing arc flash. If this button is pressed, we're doing equipment duty verification. This is Article 400.5 and 400.6, where NFPA 70E says that we need to verify that all equipment is properly rated for the available bolted fault current um, because if it's not, if it cannot withstand that current, then it's obviously has a potential for catastrophic failure. Um, this little first button is um, momentary or half cycle close and latch, interrupting and 30 cycle ANSI C37 calculations, unless we're doing IEC. Um, this allows us to look at A phase, B phase, C phase voltages and currents, positive, negative, zero sequence voltages and currents, we can look at those for three phase, line to ground, double line to ground, line to line, and lined in and line out faults. And it's very simple the way we do that. I'm just going to zoom into an area, bring in my toolbar over here so you can see it. Now, when I press this little button, I'm sorry the tool tips don't show up, but when you press this little button, um, now we're doing um, half cycle or momentary calculations. Now, the really cool thing about Easy Power is it's all interactive. We can do batch faults with this button, but the interactivity is where you really learn what's going on in a system. So when I left mouse double click on this, notice that it's instant. It doesn't matter whether it's 100,000 buses or five buses. It's instant. Um, and you can see that we're outputting 51,800 amps of short circuit current on this bus, 45,000 from the transformer, 2,800 from this MCC, 1,600 from this motor, and 1,560 from this MCC. Now I'm looking at momentary, half cycle, close, and latch. If I press interrupting, now you can see the decay from 51,800 um, at half cycle, close, and latch to 48,000 at four cycles, and then at 30 cycles, it decays to 44,000. Notice the motors decay. This motor decays from 1,600 down to 650 down to zero at 30 cycles. So you see the full ANSI standard um, decay. Now, I'm looking at A phase for a three-phase fault. What if I want to look at single line to ground? Well, I just click on it, and notice everything changes. Um, it's all instantaneous. If I wanted to look at 3i0, positive, negative, zero sequence, it's no problem. Now, in most designs and in all of our arc flash calculations, what we really care about is this little button right here. This is Article 400.5 and 400.6. This is our equipment duty verification. When I click on that, what it's doing is it's automatically doing a line side fault for all these devices and a load side fault for all these devices. Okay, so in this case, it's determining which fault position has the highest current through the device. So for all these downstream breakers, it's always going to be in the load position unless you have multiple sources, unless one is a multiple source. So in this case, it goes to the database, says, okay, this is an AKR30H rated 42 kiloamps. I calculated 49 going through this device. It's approximately 17% overduty. Obviously, I'm, I'm saying approximately. We calculate it exactly. Um, and it flags it in red, telling you what the problem is. It checks this device. It's 20% overduty. This is right on the edge at 0%. And this one is perfectly okay. 